Hey everybody, um, this is Hunter's Quick Tuts. Um, before I even get into this, I wanted to point out that you can take this video into HD uh, 720p at the bottom. Uh, if you can take it in that and your computer can handle it, go, to, go ahead and go to full screen. You'll be able to see everything much more clear and kind of follow me more straight on. Basically, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, you know your own theme like this. You can make it change as fast as mine if you want. You don't have to, but I'll be showing you all those settings like that. So basically what you want to do is go anywhere on the internet, go find the um, pictures you want. Google works great, I just got the pictures y'all been seeing. Um, but be careful y'all because whenever you go to Google, say you, I typed in uh, Wrath of uh, the Lich King. Now when I did that, I went to images and I started clicking on these and uh, trying to find the coolest one thing is when you click on them it doesn't just show you the picture anymore it uh, brings it up and then puts the website in the background so for all you know it could be this porn crab that's going to get all kinds of viruses on your computer and so just be careful when you're doing that so uh, now that I've gone through that to hopefully help some of y'all um, we'll start from the very beginning and do this from scratch now let me find one that came with okay Windows 7 now this is the one that came with my computer as soon as I turn it on and this is probably what your screen looks like if you haven't changed your theme before now basically what you do if you are like this right click and go to personalize now with the themes I have downloaded they have cooler sounds than the normal ones such as um, the Windows 7 that you just heard a second the, 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 um, the Halo Reach one I just recently downloaded has this cool Halo sound and I'll play that for you right now so basically I took that now, once you've downloaded one that you like the sound, but you want a different wallpaper and you want to start customizing it, that's where this video comes in. So basically, once you get that and you like the sound, don't even worry about this button anymore. Now you want to go to Window Color. Basically, Window Color is going to control this right here, the top of your windows, and then also your taskbar down here. So I'm going to switch mine over to gray, just like I did in the last one, and you can change color intensity to whatever you want. I like mine almost see-through, but not quite. So now you can go to color mixer and all this fun stuff, but that's for all you creative people. I'm just trying to get the point across. After you're done, just click save changes. And if at any point in this video you feel like I'm going too fast, pause the video, rewind, listen to it three or four more times. So once you're done with that, now it's all just about changing your wallpaper. So if you did what I said and you've got the pictures that you want as your wallpaper, click on desktop background. It's right here. Remember, it's right click, personalize, desktop background. Once you get here, this shows all the pictures that are all the pictures that are in that archive. Now, what you want to make sure is that all the pictures you want as your background are in one folder, because you don't select pictures in this; you select folders. So once you're done with that, just click Browse. Now I have mine saved under Hunter. Under should be Documents, My Documents, and then Pics. Now, like I said before, it lets you pick. Um, folders, not individual pictures. So I'm going to use Hunter's Picks, click OK, and then that's going to bring out the three World of Warcraft pictures. Now, once you're, while you're doing this, this is where you're going to pick your fills, whether you want it to fit the screen, stretch, or tile. Now, tile tends to give me a headache, so I'm going to go with fill. Usually, fill is going to be for most of your pictures, but if for some reason you'd like to tile it, or if you'd like to center it, any of those work just fine. Now, you can select how often you rather your pictures to change. I have mine right now on every second, so you can kind of see that. It's cool and cool to have some variety in videos, but for normal use, you basically just want a new wallpaper every time you uh, go back to your desktop. So most people go back to their desktop, I'd guess, around every 10 minutes. So I'm going to set it to 10 minutes and click shuffle. You don't want the same pictures over and over again in a loop sometimes, or you might. That's all up to you. Now once you're done with that, click save changes, and it'll be saved. Now right now it's called an unsaved theme. I'm sure you can save it, but it's going to work for you as long as you want, and you can always switch back to another one, like Avatar, Halo Reach, or Unsaved Theme. Now what you're going to see is that now this Unsaved Theme has the same audio as this, it has the same color as that, but has the things you want. So it's very cool, very customizable, play around with that. If you need any help on any of the videos I have, please comment, that's why comments are there and um, give me some response. I will talk to y'all later and see you next video.